hi everyone welcome back happy Canada's day long weekend um, this is an exciting weekend because a lot of people get together and they have barbecues and you know just have a lot of family and friend fun and it's always nice to get together and eat right right so right now I'm in uh, the Tim Horton um, drive-through line I'm gonna order a small ice cup ice cap and I consider the ice cap has been um, Canada's summertime national drink it is so good and it's popular here in Canada um, yeah so I think or uh, Tim Hortons originated here in Canada I don't know if they have any other chain anywhere else in the world I have to search that okay so as you see by the title uh, I'm gonna do a recipe for beaver tail and show you and you know the beaver is Canada's national symbol okay we'll get in we'll get more into that later okay so right now guys I'm in the drive-thru we are moving okay so we're up here gonna order now I get up minute, okay? yes may I have a small ice cap please small ice cap anything else Yes, a rocky road with nut cookie. Rocky road cookie? Yes. Anything else? No, that's it. Thank you. So here it is, guys. Here's my ice cap. Ice cappuccino. We call it ice cap here in Canada. So I consider this to be our national summer drink. <laughs> it is so refreshing, creamy, so good. But um, uh, I think maybe once a week for this does have a lot of calorie calories in it so um, once a week treat would be good but it's so good we even buy this in the winter time um, you'd be sitting in your car freezing or you know you can sit inside also and eat and you'll be freezing but you will definitely want to order a nice cap it's so good guys so guys now I'm in what's this the dollar store here see they have a lot of Canadian stuff because it's Canada Day. They have hats, a lot of stuff. Isn't this cute? Oh my goodness, this would look nice on Luca. And guys, on this shelf, they have amazing stuff. Look at this. They have a moose, beaver. Oh my god, look at our beaver. Look at our beaver. So guys, this is what a beaver tail looks like. So this is a little toy beaver, but this is exactly what the tail looks like. Hi everyone, so now we are home and I am ready to make our beaver tail, our delicious dessert. So here we have all our ingredients. So here I have sugar, yeast, vanilla, more sugar, one egg, two and a half cups of flour. We have butter, so this is three tablespoons of butter, half cup of lukewarm water and half cup of milk so in your stand mixer you're going to add your warm water your sugar and your yeast and you're going to mix it and then let it sit for just mix enough for it to combine and then you're going to let it sit for five minutes so here we have our water we have our yeast and we have our sugar. Just gonna mix it around. Oops, sorry. <laughs> Guys, I didn't plug in the mixer. Hold on a minute. So what I'm gonna do is mix it with a spoon and then let it sit. Just mix it a, a little bit, just so that the yeast and the water and everything will combine. Okay, so there it is. It's um, the sugar, yeast, and warm water. So we're gonna let it sit for five minutes. Okay, so now we're ready to add all of our other ingredients. So I forgot to mention, guys, you need three tablespoons of vegetable oil. I did one. Yes, and I, me. Yes, and Jackson wants to help. Say hi, Jackson. Hi, Jackson. <laughs> Say happy Canada Day. Happy Canada Day. Blow kisses. Yeah. Okay, so now we're going to add all our other ingredients. Yep. Okay, so now we're ready. Okay, so first, guys, I'm gonna add the butter, right? Hot. Hot? Is it hot or warm? Next, we're gonna have, add the milk. Next, we're 
Next we're going to add the, the egg. Next we're going to add the oil. Yes. Next is the vanilla. Next is the sugar. And we're going to gradually add our flour. Are you ready for that, Jackson? Okay, guys, so Jackson's added our flour gradually. Good job, Jackson. So, guys, bacon is, um, it's fun baking with your Mimi, isn't it, Jackson? Yes. yes. Okay, I'm going to help Jackson out, guys, and I'll come back to you. So there it is. Jackson got all the flour in there. Some on the table, but that's okay. If our dough ball is too um, loose and sticky, we just add a bit more flour. Right, Jackson? Yeah. Yes. So there it is, guys. After, what, three minutes? Is it three minutes of... Um, three minutes. Three minutes in the mixer. The dough is looking beautiful. It's so smooth. It's getting so smooth. I'm going to give it another 30 seconds. And then we're going to take it out, put it in a greased bowl, cover it with a uh, cling wrap. Yeah. And let it sit for 40 to 45 minutes. We need to let it rise. Okay? Okay. Thank you, my sous chef. <laughs> okay, go ahead. Hello, guys. Today we bake mm -hmm. this. And what are you so making? Beaver tail. Beaver tail. And then this, because I put it in, in so the mixer. In the mixer. So. Yeah. 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 yeah, you're vlogging. Okay. Okay. See you later. See you later. Okay, Jackson just turned off the mixer. And okay, it's locked. Okay, so now see guys? So smooth. This is so beautiful. Yeah. See, it's not sticky. It's not sticky to touch. No, we did wash our hands. It's not sticky to touch. I have a greased bowl here, so we're gonna put it in the greased bowl, cover it, and let it sit for 40 to 45 minutes. Okay, guys, so now we're ready yeah. to cover it with some cling wrap. Yeah. So here it is, guys. I, I, um, I'm letting it rest on top of the stove. The stove um, is warm. I just turned on the oven so that it will give it warmth. Look at this, so our batter um, rise so much since we put it to rest. It was just a tiny ball in the bowl. Now it's like four times its size. And I have, um, and I floured the surface here, the countertop. So what I'm gonna do is turn it out on the countertop. So I'll just do it. Maybe I'll just do it and let you see. <laughs> Whoa! At this guys isn't that so cool see it's already deflated already and I did flour the surface so I'm gonna roll it around a little bit it's kind of sticky okay this is good this is good guys so we need eight eight um, pieces equal pieces from this dough so if you have a rolling pin Okay, so here's my rolling pin here. So what I'm gonna do is just roll this out um, in oval. You need to uh, roll the oval shape and then you just cut it in, in eight equal pieces. Here we go. This looks exactly like a beaver tail, the shape of a beaver tail, guys. Look at this. This is exactly what a beaver tail shapes like. Okay, so your eight um, pieces, this is the shape that you want it to be. Okay guys, so this is what I got from it. So eight pieces. Um, if you do, if you have a kitchen scale, you can go ahead and weigh each piece. Okay, if you want them to be exactly the same size. Okay, so from this stage, we're gonna we're gonna just shape each piece oval to um, 
imitate the beaver tail okay okay guys so at this stage I'm just gonna see I'm just gonna roll it into a ball I'm gonna use my rolling pin to get that oval shape And this is perfect guys wow this even look um, more real than a actual beaver tail <laughs> no I'm just kidding oh perfect See? that's what you want it to look like and you can make your little designs on it because uh, beaver tail they have the I think it's a square design on their tail okay so guys, I'm just doing, I'm on my second one now. I just asked Javon to be my cameraman just for two, two minutes. So Javon, this is what a beaver tail actually looks like. It actually does look like a beaver tail. Yeah, really yeah. you know how it's yeah. flat, oval? Yeah, and then, yeah, so this one, do you like that one? Yeah, that do you one like looks one? Like that one looks good? Yeah. So what we do after, because you know after we make these, you can put your toppings on it. Mm. So Nutella, anything, Reese's pieces, whatever. Interesting. Yeah. So okay. So what we do next? Beaver tail have like squares, like the design on it. So you basically do this. You don't need to do this, guys. But if you feel awesome, you can do it. <laughs> there. So here it is. I'm resting um, my dough again for an additional 15 minutes. So see, we shaped it into our beaver tail. Yep. But my cookie sheet, my cookie sheet was not large enough for all eight beaver tail. These are huge. So guys, 15 minutes. I'll come back to you. I'll get my uh, my saucepan I gotta get a deep pan put some oil in there and then we're gonna start our frying process for these okay so now I'm ready Whoa. to put our um, beaver tail in the oil I hope it keeps its uh, shape there it is oh beautiful guys Let's see if you can see it there it is yeah. so we're just gonna let it fry for excuse me Jackson's gonna just let it go, get golden brown on each side mm -hmm. oh, beautiful you guys that's how you want to look maybe a little bit brown but I'm gonna flip it again so guys our beaver tail they're frying up there it is there this one is the cinnamon sugar flavored ones yeah yeah so guys here we have all our um, toppings on the table so this is my favorite um, cherry um, pie was it cherry Ooh, cherry pie, pie filling but you know what? I wish if I had cheesecake also because cheesecake also goes very well with the beaver tail. And we have Reese's, we have uh, hazelnut spread. It's not beautiful, yes. Kit Kat. Luca is kind of fussy. But um, okay, so we're gonna finish doing this. So this is Christian's. Um, she calls it Nutella Kit Kat M&M's. Okay. And this is Jackson's. What is on top of yours, Jackson? Chocolate. Chocolate. Chocolate? Okay. Chocolate, chocolate. And Javon is, um, what is yours, Javon? What's on it? I call this the Everything Beaver Tail. <laughs> Everything Beaver Tail. A. Hey, you yeah. have to do the Canadian thing. <laughs> do you love it? Yeah. Mm, and you know, Jackson's a picky eater. When Jackson says something is good, it's good. Javon, this looks real good. <laughs> you didn't get Luca. Hey Luca! Oh, Luca's having some too! Yummy! Yummy! Mm. So guys, here is my beaver tail. 
Then, this is mine. I'm gonna decorate this and one. Then here. Yeah. Do I have chocolate? No, I'm gonna no, not chocolate on mine. I'm gonna put cherry and then a bit of whipped, whipped cream. See, I have a bit of um, um, cinnamon sugar. Well, I it. like chocolate. Yeah, I know you like chocolate. <laughs> I know. Okay, guys. So this is my beaver tail. So I have cherry pie filling, whipped cream, a little bit of. Um, I think it's this one's crushed M&Ms on top of the whipped cream. But the good thing about this, guys, the dough is not sweet. But again, uh, beaver tail this size, share it with someone. Okay, just share it. And so I'm not gonna close off the vlog yet because I think we still have a little bit more footage. Okay, so stay tuned. Okay guys, so I decide to try this on camera for you. Okay, so there of course I got, I'm using a fork. Okay, so here I go. So delicious. I'm not kidding you guys. Mm -hmm. So good. You need to try to make your own beaver tail. It's a great dessert. The pastry. Part of it is so crispy and see look I loaded on I loaded a bunch of stuff on it and it's still crispy still crispy guys okay the most time-consuming part about making this is just letting the dough you know rest and rise that's the only time-consuming part because you know at first after you take it out the mixer put in a bowl 40 to 45 minutes and then you roll it out after that you gotta let it rest again and all that okay so delicious try this recipe guys I'm not gonna close off the vlog yet still have a bit more for you okay stay tuned guys happy Canada day this is um, Canada day here in Canada <laughs> Um, so we're going to a park where they're going to have some Canada Day festivities for the kids and family. So there it is. They have a bouncy castle over there for the kids. They have an ice cream truck. They have an event center. They have a jerk chicken spot on here. Okay guys, so there's a jerk chicken spot here. There's a drum. <laughs> hi. Hello, hi. <laughs> so guys, Jackson is inside the bouncy castle. I don't think he's gonna leave it for the day. And that's how the park is, guys. So they have ice cream truck. I think they're selling hot dog and sausages over there. 